husband was he was a huge driving force behind me. He says, you know what, you have this idea, and he says you have to you have to take it on, you know. And at worst, what will happen? You know, nahi chalega. It's fine. Welcome to Entrepreneur India. We have Shireen Man Sangha, founder of Needed Us, with us. Hello, welcome, Shireen. Nice Thank to you. meet Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here with you guys. <laughs> Shireen, so please share with me your journey. How did you start Needed Us? Um, so Needed Us started about five and a half years ago, uh, and it was purely by accident. I finished my journalism school, and I came back to be a journalist, an mm. investigative journalist. And um, I met my husband back then, and we decided to get married. And I took I took some time off. and i had a very clear picture like any other girl how you want to look like as a bride but my focus was my shoes and it was actually jutis so and i thought like you know i had like a certain design in mind which is still mm. on my shelf it's called forever yours uh, the gold gungru design and i had it in my mind and i thought it would be so easy for me to find it you know mm. like if it's come to my my head of course it's out there but uh, when i started looking for it like in this pair didn't find the one i was looking for so i said okay fine i'll get it made no big deal they'll make it for me right So when I sort of like I started like going around with my sketch, saying this is what I want, and they said, oh, who's going to put so much effort in one jutti, you know? So at that point, I started looking for like an artisan who would make me the shoe. Mm -hmm. And anyways, I'm you know after like certain like to and fro, I found like artisans, you know. So I got my embroidery done, I you know I purchased materials and this and that, and put my shoe together. But I remember when my friends and family came from you know all over the world and other parts of India for my wedding. and everyone loved it and i just an idea came to me i said hey listen i there is it took me such a long time to find the perfect pair and there might there might be girls out there like me that would want to wear jutis but something different something extraordinary um something beautiful that's not available mm -hmm. in the market and i want to do this i want to explore this and that's how needle us started that's wonderful sheen but like how did the business start Um so I don't come from a design school yeah I come from journalism school and obviously starting was quite a learning experience even today like it's I learn every day on my job you know um back then it was just more about finding carigas okay. you know like finding artisans I had few designs in mind I wanted to pop mm. pretty uh, exciting jutis but I had no idea where it was going to go I remember starting with just like a hundred shoes, mm -hmm. you know, for like footwear. That's just six designs, mm -hmm. and it's six sizes and or five sizes back then. It's not like a huge quantity. And I thought, fine, you know, I'll start this. I'll take the plunge, and if it doesn't happen, I'll give it to my friends and family, you know, at the most. And uh, I manufactured hundred shoes, uh, and we. I remember I uh, we sold them through an online portal, which was not needed. That's it was another online portal called Exclusive Dot In. and i sent it to them and i said could you just share it on you know like mm. put it on your e-commerce website mm. and they put it on the e-commerce website and i had no idea what to do what it was going to be on the 7th mm. day of us going live on their website i get an email from them saying congratulations we're sold out when can we get the next stock and mm. there was no stock because i didn't even think i'll sell these and that's how it started honestly uh so your business was earlier always online yeah so, so i started with yeah, an yeah. online portal because yes. I didn't know if I okay. if I could invest. I didn't have the guts to invest in a hmm. brick and mortar store like in a hmm. in a retail space, physical space or even an online uh store which was only hmm. needle dust. So I didn't have the guts to do it and I didn't know whether hmm. it was worth the investment because hmm. obviously when you start something new, you know, hmm. uh, it's a brand new idea. At that point nobody was doing jutis hmm. um designer jutis. Nobody was putting that sort of effort in in jutis as a footwear which is a dying handicraft. Hmm. So for me to like park that investment was a huge you know sort of like a it was um it was confusion you know mm -hmm. but when we went along with an, another e-commerce website uh, that sort of gave me an surety that yeah there are people out there who love it we started, mm -hmm. I started getting a lot of personal messages mm -hmm. after that I got I picked up a really tiny little store mm -hmm. in Shahpur Jhat okay. and it's the same store I have today uh, mm -hmm. but it's just become four times its space uh, and that's why I opened my first uh mm -hmm. needle us talk uh which is a really tiny one in shahpur jhat and that's where i started from and then we went on to open our exclusive online store needledust.com where now we ship to over 200 countries 
so a lot of success that you receive was uh, also because of social media yeah the way uh, needle dust instagram pages for example yeah so uh, what do you uh, think the role of social media was in your business journey the new age media mm -hmm. is massive for uh, startups massive for people mm -hmm. with newer ideas and i tell people this all the time today when we have discussions with real friends family mm -hmm. i always give a lot of credit of my work to uh, or the success of needle dust with social media i think because of social media now needle dust ships 200 countries the fact that people know more about my product from sitting in italy switzerland uh, zimbabwe mm -hmm. you know um, china uh, all sorts of places in the world like things that i never imagined needle dust could reach i mean sometimes we get orders online and i'm like wow and <laughs> from local names not nris uh -huh. from local names and i'm like that's incredible so the the jitti's reaching places where we never imagined it to reach and that is all thanks to social media you have no designing background stream so what were the difficulties that you faced i never like uh, i never sketched you know mm -hmm. uh, so like for me to translate my idea to the cardigans mm -hmm. so i had to learn you know mm -hmm. and so i sort of had to learn basically sketching i had to basically learn how to put colors together i didn't know um, i didn't know words like uh, khaka adda tangoos these are things i learned from the cardigans and what's really amazing i feel like uh, through my processes the guys who actually do the work the artisans are your biggest teachers and then nobody can teach you what they do even to today sometimes they come up with some beautiful ideas and they're like uh, mam isko aise kare and i'm like yeah show it to me and then it becomes beautiful wow. your jutis are very popular in bollywood among bollywood stars yeah. so who was your first bollywood client and how did the clientele grow for so fast uh the first uh, the first client uh, celebrity client was uh, sonam kapoor and it started from there you know we we wrote to riya kapoor and riya kapoor put me on her team and we sent them like of the first product and we just launched needle dust back then i remember the instagram dust you know riya and sonam and that was amazing so it started from there and now it's just very natural i mean we just we concentrate on doing beautiful designs and we never thought like we were a part of media the wedding padmavat a uh, student of the year post launch and then we did uh, priyanka chopra's wedding where we launched the abujani sandeep kosla line uh, we did the pickup adukon and then recent's wedding where um, we did mehndi gifting for them sophie turner daniel jonas yeah. ended up wearing our jutis uh, so it was really amazing yeah. so you guys never have a creative block we do of course we do <laughs> all the time like we have a creative block all the time because sometimes what you have in your head yeah. doesn't necessarily translate mm -hmm. onto like physical shoes you know and then you're trying so hard to crack it you're trying so hard mm -hmm. and it just doesn't happen and then what we do when a creative block happens is just stop it i'm like let's stop it let's take a break for two days mm -hmm. and then come back with fresh ideas and yeah that's what happens and uh, anything else that you would like to share about your journey needle dust or like design happened to me absolutely pure accidental and by chance and i just want to say if you have an idea act mm -hmm. upon it no idea is too big or too small to to give up or not to sort of take on okay so this is shireen man sanga with us a nice talking to you shireen thank you zahira it was so lovely speaking <laughs> yeah. to you thank, thank you so you. much i've had a great day hi guys i'd like to wish all the ladies out there watching me and entrepreneur india a very happy women's day i hope 2020 brings in a lot of new cooler ideas a lot of new women entrepreneurs and a lot more success stories this year